Hello, Victory Village, and welcome to another episode of Twenty Yvette Speaks. This is your host, Twenty Yvette, and for the next few minutes, we are going to focus on something that is very important, and that is Texas. I have been sent so much on Texas, and some of these photos, I'm just I'm warning you now. It may be a little bit of a trigger, but. Um, listen it has to be done it has to be said there's been like so much so much going on in the way of Texas uh, these politicians have really been just a, a big letdown you know to say the least and with everything and I understand because I used to live in Houston Texas so l let me just put that out there I understand we never had a winter but I just feel like you know with the climate changing all over the place everywhere the United States of America would be putting stuff in place for just in case you know what I'm saying instead of wasting money and you know doing things that we will probably never use building things that you know are unfinished and all this kind of stuff and this goes on all the time it's just wasted money but why not you know anything could happen and you cannot stop a natural disaster and I just feel like this whole thing could have been handled so much better but um, I am going to start with um, one of these articles here now this one right here is newsbreak.com okay um, this was so sad uh, my members VIP members from the Victory Village sent this in our private group on Facebook and um, it's our chat group and I saw where they had put this in here um, it's in newsbreak.com which I will put the link in the description box but um, Fox News actually reported this first the Texas husband he froze to his demise in his recliner that's how cold it was that this man actually froze okay this was um, on last Thursday uh, farmer Josh Casey reported this um, he says please go check on your neighbors a man froze to death in his recliner yesterday his wife was beside him nearly nearly frozen she's in the hospital still in Peril um, but they had no power so I mean guys when you talk about how sad this is and I know Texas is in state of emergency right now and I understand that things still aren't you know 100% but when you think about you're in your house and there's no power and it's cold enough to where you will literally freeze to death that is crazy I couldn't imagine being you know a political figure and not doing everything I could to help everybody I just I don't know what's wrong with people <sighs> but listen you you guys read that right you heard it right a man froze to death under our collective noses um, and this was in Abilene um, I don't even know what to do with this information except to um, check on my immediate neighbors the writer says if we all do uh, maybe we can stop this from happening I don't know any solution um, or anything really right now except people freezing to death near me is not okay it's not okay at all so the Texas man did freeze to death in his recliner last Wednesday according to a report the unidentified man was found deceased with his wife nearly deceased at his side after their Abilene home lost complete and total power during the winter storm that has battered the entire state and this again was by Josh Casey president of Abilene Fresh a nonprofit food hub okay um, want to thank Josh for this story I know it's like super hard to hear stuff like that but when I tell you this is one of the saddest things I have ever heard in my life like it just when I first saw it I was like I don't think I can do this story like I you know what I'm saying like I <laughs> I am not one of those reporters that has a stone face or whatever like I literally you know will just break down and sob so I had to get myself together before I even brought this to you guys' attention and some of you probably already heard the story and that's fine but I just couldn't do it on that that day because everything was just so raw and so fresh and here in Alabama let me just spit a little com uh, 
you know a little conversation here right here a little commentary it was like springtime today i kid you not this time last week people were freezing there you know a lot of people here lost power a lot of people here you know they lost uh you know water pipes bursted and stuff like that because we haven't had a winter in a while not like this not like where snow was on the ground now a couple of months ago it snowed but the snow didn't stick and the same thing with this i don't really think the snow stuck to the highway or anything but i felt really bad for the people who didn't have water okay there were people who didn't have you know bare necessities and so um you know neighbors just you know chipped in together restaurants were you know um cutting costs uh, grocery stores were having you know major sales just to help you know you can't be you know in business and just give all your stuff away I understand that's you know impossible um, but the shelters out here even pull together with the churches so that people would have somewhere warm to stay and they would have you know food to eat and so you know it's all about community and what you can do for your community and I was so you know happy to see and hear all of this and then we have the celebrities you guys one in particular this article fell in my inbox today about Tammy Roman and I totally forgot that she has a home in Houston Texas as freezing temperatures continue to sweep across the country Tammy Roman recently shared her emotional plight as one of the millions of Texas residents affected by the recently deadly snowstorm um, through a series of non-related Instagram posts, Roman, a homeowner in Houston, said that in addition to being grateful for all of those who had made an effort to help her and her family during this time, she also wanted to encourage others to hold on to hope. So Tammy says, I'm sitting in my trailer just trying to keep it together because I know I got to go and perform today like, you know, everything is okay. Uh, the star said, you know, through tears, everything I've worked so hard for to give my children just ripped away, you know, from under my feet in an instant. And that's how it happens, you guys, just, you know, in a blink of an eye. Tammy says that she, um, she knew everybody, you know, was going to go through something, um, but she didn't have any idea it was going to be like this. So something, uh, but I just wanted to offer prayers up to everybody, um, for everybody's situation. And she's sending love and light, you know, even, you know, today. I, I, I mean, I just couldn't imagine. Now, let me, let me tell you something. The, I'm going to tell you the reason I say this, you guys, because um, in most of my villagers, if you've been with me for, you know, the past five years, you know, um, I lived in Houston for close to 10 years. I, um, on and off, you know, back and forth from Alabama to Texas, spending most of my time in Texas. My job was there and I was going to school and I couldn't really get away from, you know, my studies or whatever to, you know, come home back and forth. But in the middle of all of this stuff there was april's fury that hit alabama and i was here for that um i came home for a week you know just you know to visit family spend time with my daughter vacay and april's fury hit thank god my family had you know a generator because power went out you know there was no water my dad um he's like notorious for hoarding water bottles of water he has like hundreds of them so you know for us we were okay but for a lot of people they weren't okay you know um then when i was in houston i was there for hurricane ike scared to death we had no cell service for well over a week we had no you know clean water they were like you can bathe with the water but don't drink it don't cook with it I didn't want to touch it I didn't even want to take a bath in the water I'm like if you can't you know drink it you can't cook with it no I mean it was to the point where they didn't even say boil the water before you use it they were just like don't consume it don't drink it and don't cook with it and state of emergency here comes the Calvary the you know officers and you know everybody in, from the military um, they were giving us you know the meal packs that they use for the soldiers and they gave us those and they gave us you know water and then my pastor and first lady showed up and then they you know had a bunch of stuff and they were like I don't know why we didn't think to take you out of town <laughs> but, 
but we're glad you knew what to do and I said well we have tornadoes in Alabama so I just kind of you know put two and two together but I was okay my apartment was intact um a tree limb went through the back window of my car but you know that's nothing that I couldn't handle got that fixed um you know really quick <laughs> but wow you guys you just don't even know the devastation and so I understand what Texas is going through because I've seen natural disasters happen like whole buildings just ripped from the ground just you know people's homes just you know just torn apart I get it I understand and when your pipes burst and water goes everywhere it's already freezing temperature we already know what's gonna happen and I just you know it's all you could do is just you know thank God that you're okay and pray for everybody else um, you know there are people who are disabled that had to go through this people who were elderly like you know the poor man and his wife you know that were literally freezing to death um, our babies our children you know so many people lost their lives so many people lost their homes um, I feel for those people who you know their homes are damaged and they can't fix it right now you know um, and I remember being in Texas listen you guys I've never heard of this before until I went to Texas you get to pick and choose who your utility company is I had never heard of that before where I live everybody has the same utility company I mean you go to DU and you get your service hooked up there's no other and there were just so many choices in Texas you know t and I was like this is crazy so you normally pick the cheapest one you know people will come knocking on your door or you get a newspaper or whatever there wasn't the you know utility company it was just several different ones and now that you see the devastation it's like that's a big mistake you should just have that you know Texas should have you know a utility company and that company is it for the state I know Texas is a huge state I used to live there I know that but still that's crazy that everybody has it because I'm going to tell you in the next article people are being price gouged okay by every single utility company and that's ridiculous okay listen Tammy goes on to say that after thanking some of the friends and family who have offered support to her and her two daughters during the troubling time Roman had an optimistic message to share um, to all of those who have also been experiencing hardship the formal the former basketball wives star said that everybody uh, just be strong um, know that God makes no mistakes in whatever you're going through there's a reason for this so just keep your head up continue to stay in prayer and know that on the other side per usual things will get better and so I couldn't agree more being considered a snowstorm of Arctic proportions the weather impact may many Americans in recent days have brought much of the country to a standstill with Texas being one of the places that have been hit the worst as more information from the state has spread experts believe that even though the winter storm has been brutal um, and you know different infrastructures in place I'll I say that loosely infrastructures such as the state's power grid and plumbing systems um, have really let Texas down just as with Roman who said many have been displaced from their homes due to damage a lack of heating and hot water and so on many Texans are still without power right now to this day um, and the death toll in the state continues to rise so you know just pray for you know Texas and you know it's just, I understand you know it's hard to keep your head up when all you see is devastation and I know people have lost loved ones and stuff but you know you got to think about what you have you know in the midst of all of it what you're still able to hold on to but I, I still can't wrap my head around wow you know when your home is completely gone it's trashed it's total and you can't fix it and you're faced with that realization I I could be homeless you know the insurance companies aren't really doing a whole lot and this price gouging is absolutely insane and I can't even believe this is 
you know going on i'm gonna do a little digging um texas um utility prices because i want to make sure i have um the right article pulled up for you guys this is crazy this power i mean the i'm, I'm talking about it up in the thousands some texans received electric bills up to seventeen thousand dollars you guys i mean come on you've got who do <laughs> are these companies insane people struggle to pay for their normal you know <laughs> how how do you even fix yourself to send a seventeen thousand dollar bill to a person with a two-bedroom apartment they they kept the lights off limited their use of electrics scarcely watch television except to to catch up a night on the bone chilling news after the winter storms brutally in the area yeah like many other texans houston residents david astron and his wife did what they could to save power last week even while both were working from home with their five-month-old son having conserved power after briefly losing it twice during rolling blackouts Astrian, 36 years old, says he was shocked when he logged on to view his electric bill from his provider, Gritty, $2,796.85 since February the 1st. February isn't over yet, guys. It's only the 23rd. $2,796.85 for 23 days of utility service that you couldn't use the whole 23 days because of the electrical outage. Ahead of the storms, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, which manages about 90% of the state's electric load, underestimated how much power it would need because Texas is the only state in the lower 48 that operates on an independent electrical grid it could not receive help from the neighbors uh, neighboring states at all no help from neighboring states at all suddenly could not keep up with the demand leading the public utility commission of texas which regulates texas utility rates to raise energy prices in an emergency monday meeting on the same day the wholesale price of electricity spiked more than ten thousand percent leaving many Texans with a drizzy bills drastic in the wake of the storms ranging from four digits to one for more than $17,000, you guys. <laughs> Are you kidding? Who? I can't even. I, I can't even finish the sentence. I'm devastated. The state's unregulated market allows customers to pick their utility providers, which is what I was talking about earlier when I moved, you know, and, you know, they give you a list. Like when you move into an apartment, they give you a list of providers, but then there are other independent providers that will, you know, leave um, a, like a flyer at your door or in your mailbox or something like that. So plenty of providers all over the place, you know, offering you better deals and this, that, and the other, but they don't have anything um, to protect the customer when something like this happens. Now, I will say this. When I was in Texas for Hurricane I and, excuse me, power lines went down and we were without electricity for a couple of days, our utility bills did not spike like this. So that lets me know that this winter storm was literally catastrophic. Literally. And I just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You know what I, I mean? Some of them, like Nicholas Malazzo, $3,000 bill. And the list goes on and on. And you think that people actually, it's not fair and it's not right. And I don't understand why on God's green earth these people would actually send a customer. And I'm not talking about businesses, village. This, These are regular people like you and me. Regular people who I talk to on my YouTube channel every day. Just, you know. Most of us, you know, have a modest house, three bedrooms, two bath. You have a, a, you know, a regular home, two bedrooms, one bath. You know, some of us have apartment complexes, 
you know so on and so forth uh ain't nobody trying to pay seven thousand dollars five thousand dollars two thousand and five hundred dollars and and certainly not seventeen thousand dollars for utility service that you couldn't even use during the storm because the power went out that it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make any sense and I don't understand what these people are doing this one article says that it's publicly known how many customers faced higher costs Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins posted a tweet Friday asking residents to which companies they pay wholesale prices hundreds replied including people who sent screenshots of their bills okay You've got a company, okay, Gritty, a company offering uh, veritable plans with a $9.99 monthly fee, urges um, its nearly 30,000 customers in an email to find a different provider. Wow. <laughs> this is nuts, you guys. I can't even. I have never seen a state so unprepared in every which way. I mean... <sighs> anyway you guys listen did you hear about the accident the major accident with nearly a hundred cars on the frozen Texas highway at least five lost their lives and a dozen people were injured and I think after that um, you know they just like keep finding people or whatever um, it was a lot it was a hundred car pileup and it, the hundred cars fell on a highway in Texas that was frozen okay so the local authorities reported that it was slippery due to the ice formed by a severe winter storm so it's hard to even tell where the impact came from or who hit who I'm just looking at the picture on um, the internet the galtimes.com and wow I mean right at the center you can see 18 wheelers on top of regular cars you know regular cars you know trucks this that and the third just smashed completely up um i couldn't imagine i don't need i man talk about ill prepared talk about ill prepared not even i mean there's ice on the bridge you can see it in the photo and I don't know you guys I don't know uh, if you're like me and you live somewhere where you know they scrape the highways and they're you know throwing down the rock salt and doing this that and the other it just it's like why weren't they you know thinking about this but I get it because Texas we when I lived in Texas we didn't have winters but still it's just you know how things are going right now you would have thought that somebody would have said what if you know it gets cold what if we have snow or whatever are we prepared to handle that do we have any you know thing anything to back up anything for our people who live here in the state you know that should have been a discussion at some point I mean seriously even if you've never even if you've never never had a snowstorm ever in Texas which I know is a lie because they have had a winter it was years ago but still it could happen again anyway Police who uh, set up a family reunion center at a community center said the number of the wounded was still unknown as the relief forces were still taken on the crash on Highway 35 near downtown Fort Worth. Families found out about Justin Davis Bristol and will be in touch with this lawyer to handle this case. However, according to the agency, France Press Agency, at least 36 people have been hospitalized in the region. Fire Department spokesman Michael Drifter told a news conference that the number could rise as resources continue to work. The situation is catastrophic. And this was given by the Weather Channel, Jason McLaughlin, professional storm chaser, two cars seemed to lose control and when that happened the other cars accumulated and this is from a camera that was above so they had to check you know all of the you know cameras and all of the video footage to see exactly what happened 
I'm assuming by now they knew which cars lost control and you know where the impact came from but the winter the winter storm caused freezing rain sleet and snow in different parts of the United States and as the National Weather Service warned of continuing conditions in the area generating conditions similar to those that caused the massive meltdown okay to the south in Austin more than 20 vehicles collided on an very icy road and one person was injured traumatically um, and needed emergency services like ASAP uh, snowstorms are expected elsewhere you know they are you know up in arms right now like I said it's 23rd or whatever but our snow out here just melted so everybody is just you know what do we do is it over right now you can't really tell you know you may think you know spring is coming up like today the birds were chirping it was warm outside you know when we wake up in the morning there could be more snow that you just can't tell unexpected uh, for this type of range for Arkansas to Kentucky so more than 125 homes and businesses went out of power Thursday morning most of them in Kentucky and West Virginia according to a website that monitors the facilities okay meanwhile Kentucky authorities have asked people to stay home Due to the winter conditions, Kentucky Governor Andy uh, Brazier said that state offices would be closed due to bad weather and it declared a state of emergency, liberating relief funds and helping agencies coordinate their responses to reports of slippery roads and broken power lines. Lex Lexington police said in a tweet asking people not to go out unless it's absolutely necessary. Lexington police said that aircraft crews were responding to numerous calls for uh, tree trims and power lines to fall and this stuff is still going on. Keep Texas and surrounding areas in your prayers, you guys. It is absolutely necessary that we take this seriously. It's not just news. It's not just commentary. People are losing their lives. People, you know, are just in devastating conditions right now due to this. And I mean, it's still winter. You know, anything could happen. Literally anything could happen. So, you know, just pray for one another and send out, you know, healing prayers and send out good vibes, you know, to everybody who's going through it, whether it's your next door neighbor or somebody you've never, you know, met before. You know, if you're in these, you know, areas and you have power, you know, but you know that people on the other side of the bridge, whatever, don't have power, it wouldn't hurt you, you know, to make some warm food. You know what I'm saying? Most of us have like coolers and crock pots and stuff like that. It wouldn't hurt, you know, for a group of people to get together and, you know, make sure that other people, you know, um, are cool, you know, safe and warm. It's not going to hurt you to share your blankets, you know, with people. I, I mean, you know, if the, if the state, you know, from state to state, in the state from city to city and so forth and so on are ill prepared, you know, it takes a village. Okay. It takes a village. You got to be your partner's village right now. You know, get get together and do what you can to help each other, you know, because you would want somebody to help you if it was you that was suffering. So I'm just encouraging everybody, even though we are living in uncertain times, we're still in a pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, keep hope in your hearts keep everybody in your prayers all right stay safe out there you guys always live on purpose and as always i will talk to every one of you in another video bye for now love you guys